Okay, here we go. We're going to see if we can kill us an Ibex with the recurve at a considerable distance. Looks like a pretty nice day. The wind is blowing, so I'm sure the clouds are going to roll in. It's been my experience that when you start a game, they're either here or they're not. You can hang around for 30 minutes. If they don't show up in 30 minutes, you might as well restart the game and look again. So we'll ease on down here and take a look. See what's here for us. All right, honestly, there was nothing here. We hung around, it took about 15 minutes, one popped into view. And that there he is. Um, there might be others around, but that's all we can see right now. We're going to go on up to the tower now. See if we can see him from the tower. Hope we can. All right, got to look in the right place. Yep. There he is, we can see him. You can see the flag behind him. If he were a little further down the hill, the shot would be a long, little longer, but this one's gonna be somewhere in the 389, something like that, 388. Just as I started up the hill, I saw some more sheep standing over there to the right, right on that green stuff, but they wouldn't be in render up here. So uh, I'm not gonna worry about them a whole lot. Let's stop this and get to shoot and see what happens. I can tell you it's been windy. It's been very windy. I've shot several arrows and the wind's blown them anywhere from just a few feet off to 70 meters off. But um, we're gonna get him here. I had to cut it down a whole lot. Sooner or later we'll get him. All right, that one got him. He ran around a little crazy, but he didn't run off. He just stood there. Crazy shot in the head. Worst place in the world we could hit him. We're just going to have to hang around and see what happens. It's going to take him a while to die. I can assure you of that. So we'll just wait. Well, we've been waiting 10, 15 minutes. Crowds have rolled in. And as you can see, it started pouring down rain. But he's gonna die eventually, but we'll just keep hanging on till he does. And we'll get back with you just as soon as he decides to give up the ghost. Well, there he goes right now, down the hill. All righty, finally. We just fast traveled to the tent the bottom of the hill. As you can see, there's Ibex tracks everywhere. There were uh, several others down here. We just couldn't see them from where we were at. But uh, we'll walk over here and pick him up and see what happens. Okay, here we go. Moment of truth. Let's see what we got. Look up as far as I can here and still collecting. There you go, that ought to be high enough. All right, not bad. 389.9, not a very big animal, but he'll do. Now let's see what we can do with this crazy trophy shot. All right. Well, don't know how this shot's gonna turn out, but thank you very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video, and yes, we will put this one in our trophy lodge. Uh, dang it.
I knew it. I can't get. I wish there was a way that we could turn our head up, move our heads around when we was taking these trophy shots, but I guess it's not going to be that way. Thanks again for watching. Hope to see you on the next one.